Hi, welcome to this Drone Desk User Guide. This video covers the uh, calendar view of jobs in Drone Desk. So you've got four choices of job views now, default table, and then Kanban, calendar, and map. Let's dive into calendar. The calendar will show all jobs that you've got built in the system, and they'll be color coded according to their current status. So whether they're new, quotes being sent, or the jobs closed, and so on. The calendar view is fairly standard in that you can view by month, um, scroll backwards through time, forwards through time, back to today. Uh, you can view by week or by day if you want to, and you can also view events by month, uh, which is quite useful, and list by week. There is a print option. doesn't, if I'm honest with you, look great for the calendar view. Let me just show you that, actually. It's kind of function over form, but the print view is probably useful for things like uh, a week view. So you can print off a, a list of your activities for the week. If that's something you like to do. So back to month view. You'll notice the dark blue event there. That's an event from an external Google Calendar. So you're able to link a Google Calendar into your drone desk calendar if you want to. Uh, that might help with avoiding diary conflicts and so on if you manage your appointments outside of Drone Desk in Google Calendar. Okay, so in terms of functionality in the calendar, you can click on any event and it will take you to the manage job view of that specific job. And then, and additionally, you have the facility to reschedule jobs or change the schedule of jobs by clicking on them and drag them, dragging them around. So that job's now been rescheduled to the 23rd at the same, at the same time. So if I open that, you'll see it's been rescheduled to the 23rd. And then if you go to David, well, actually, let's go to week view. What you'll see is that the events will expand a little to show the start and end time. And you'll have a, a little grab icon so you can change the duration of a job in here as well. And you can also, as well as moving it from day to day, you can change the start time. So we've now marked that as, or scheduled that for 9.30 till 1 o'clock on, on the 23rd. Okay, so that just about covers the functionality that's available in the calendar. At the moment, it's only shown on this page, but at some point I'll integrate it into the dashboard so that you get a diary view of, of what's coming up for the week ahead whenever you access the dashboard. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.